I'm sure you're reading this title thinking, oh, Papa Lace has finally, after all of these years, quit Gacha Games. No, not quite. But it is definitely accurate for me to say that I am freed from Gacha Games. And it's thanks to my favorite game, Precon, getting the axe. Let me explain. Hi, my name is Lace, and I've been a slave to Gacha Games and live service games such as MMOs for many, many years. As many of you know, Two weeks ago, my main gacha game, Princess Connect Redive, had its end of service announced. I made a quick video on that, and then after that, I tried to make like another four, talking about how angry and miserable and upset I was, about how it was the only gacha game that I actually cared about. But then I realized, what, what the frick does it matter? And I think that was the beginning of my freedom from Gacha. And before we go on, I do want to explain a little bit about what I meant by I'm a slave to Gachas. Because what I mean is this, for as long as I can remember, even before pre-con, my life has essentially been organized around Gacha games, dailies, stamina caps, and all of these really annoying borderline predatory mechanics. Because for me personally, in local time, 11 p.m. is pre-con reset. 9 p.m. is Arknight's reset. 5 p.m. is Dragalia reset. 7 a.m. or 5 a.m. is Genshin and Blue Archive reset. 10 a.m. is Eversol reset, etc. And on top of that, you know what? Oh, I'm going to sleep. I better burn my stamina. Or, oh, I just woke up. There's probably about eight hours worth of stamina I got to burn. When I say it out loud, it's... <laughs> oh, got it. It really hurts. And my guys, let me know if this is you because I'm hoping that not all gacha gamers are going through this. I know that there are some of the more reasonable ones out there. But for me personally, what makes it all the worst is that I have two key attributes that really amplifies this. I'm a collector and a completionist. I like to 100% things. I like to collect things as much as I can. And as we can both imagine, mixing these traits with gacha games which are designed to make you feel FOMO due to the time gate nature of it, it has made me schedule and plan my life around them. Cringe. Even for the non-completionists and the non-collectors, these psychological traps still definitely work. And I would say that they are just as predatory as the gacha gambling aspect itself. And so therefore, for the past however many years, probably since high school, I have essentially been enslaved by gacha games and MMOs. But this week, I broke free. Yeah, I've been fighting this for years and I've never really been able to get over it. Even when I was in Japan for a holiday, I was still making sure that I was doing everything on all four of my gacha games. That's, that's so extremely, extremely unhealthy, my comrades. But with pre-con dying, I started to stop giving a shit about the rest of them. Like sure, I stopped logging into Precon because of the inevitable doom. However, at that point, I was still playing Blue Archive, Eversol and Genshin Impact fully, fully doing dailies, fully doing the stamina burns, even though the motivation was not there. <laughs> the more I talk about this, the more cringe I feel. However, as the days passed since the Princess Disconnect announcement, I started dropping a whole bunch of tasks from the games, like the five hour base management system in Eversol, uh, PvP attacks in Blue Archive. But unfortunately, I was still committing time to it, such as like before going to sleep, burning stamina and waking up, burning stamina, middle of the day, kind of like check has stamina capped. And then my guys came the help from where I kind of least expected it, my day job. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my fellow degenerates, surprise, I'm not actually a neat, although I would love to be. And my day job, they told me to go fly down to the headquarters for a full working week. And that is when shit really hit the fan. For gacha games. Because this week was special, there was a reason why I had to fly down. Every single day was super full of meetings and workshops and meetings and workshops. And because I was doing meetings and workshops every day, and I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm a little bit of an introvert, I was exhausted every friggin' day. And so the plan was simple. I would play and maintain these gacha games on my phone as well as my tablet. On that first day, I went back to the accommodation napped and then it was 8 p.m because i was always so tired right i hadn't logged in all day my stamina was capped none of my dailies were done i then did all of my dailies burnt all of my stamina and then i went back to sleep but the day after the day after the same thing happened but this time i didn't do my dailies i didn't burn my stamina 
and I went back to sleep. And I did it again and again and again. And most importantly, I didn't care. And so I was free. I am free. For now. I may not care about the gacha games that I'm playing right now. I might log on, do some dailies, log off, do some rolls, whatever. But there may come along a game at some point in the future where I become hyper invested again. I'm talking Honkai Star Rail, Blue Protocol, Wuthering Waves. The future is looking really stacked. But right now, at this moment, I am tasting freedom. And I wanted to not only share it with you guys, but also make this video as kind of like a reminder for myself to remember that this time of my life, right now, I can wake up and go, I don't know, jack off to H and not care about my stamina capping. And a lot of you are gonna say, oh, it's easy, just quit. <laughs> I'd say that's kind of akin to telling like an alcoholic to just cold turkey quit alcohol. Like, hey, you wanna stop being addicted to alcohol? Just quit. Luckily, I'm not also an alcoholic, but my guys, that is not how it works. And so my brothers and sisters, my fellow degenerates, I want to know if this video resonated with you in any way at all, because I cannot be the only one who is suffering like this. And so yeah, if you are in this kind of situation, do let me know down in the comments below. But otherwise, y'all already know the drill, like, subscribe, notification bell on, and as a certain bunch of developers and publishers that used to manage precon said, get end of service, because all good things must come to an end. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Yeah, I'm not over it yet. Bye-bye.